Good evening, good evening, friends. Happy Wednesday. Last Wednesday of November, this year is just flying right by. We're just letting everybody find us, everybody join in, and uh, hope you guys are doing well. I know it is a little snowy out there. Uh, I was talking about this last night, uh, but that's November for you. So um, here we go with our last What's New Wednesday of 20, sorry, of November 2023. Not our last one of the whole year, but our last one for November. And we're going to start off talking a little bit about celebrations. So, um, you know the drill, you know where we are. Here we are at papercraftersworkshop.ca. Uh, thank you. Thank you all to uh, thank you to all of you who participated in our Black Friday, Cyber Monday extravaganza last week. Uh, we are finally pretty, pretty close to caught up on uh, shipping and getting orders ready to go. So if you were shopping, if you were building a box, all of that good stuff, make sure you swing by and pick up your orders. If your box is ready to ship, please do let us know. But absolutely no rush if you are still we're adding to those orders, not a problem whatsoever. Um, and all of this just leads into, again, <clears throat> reasons to celebrate. So I am super happy to share with you a new mini line from Simple Stories focusing on birthdays. Um, this is what they call a simple set. So it's not their full uh, giant, not giant, they're pretty good. The most, most Simple Stories lines have 12 papers. This one has six papers, but it is nice and bright. It's got lots of great colors that can work for boys, girls, uh, grown-ups, kids, tweens, everything in between. And there is a sticker sheet in here as well. Now, last time I opened the Simple Stories pack, I ripped the plastic, so I'm going to be really careful here and pull this out. We did bring in single sheets as well as these little mini sets. And uh, there's two, oh, so I, I'm gonna stand corrected. There is two each of three different papers. So great double-sided papers. So there is birthday here that's got the banners off the top with the yellow stars on the back. I don't know if that's translating well, but it's a nice, yellow star pattern on the back. Let me flip that over so I can put things away properly. Then we have this one here um, called Make a Wish. And again, multicolored stars on the front on that blue background. And a really fun, um, almost a circus stripe on the back. Same paper here. And then paper number three has your cut aparts. So kind of a multi, it's got a three by four, it's got some two by twos, it's got some four by sixes, and some four by fours as well. Eat cake, and keep keep this in mind in just a few minutes, and it'll all make sense. Uh, and then polka dots on the back. And then last but not least, like I said, a really great sticker sheet that will work for layouts or cards, either type of project that you're working on. Um, the simple set also has an accompanying, a coordinating uh, page pieces pack. So this is uh, your title, some great little die cut icons, and then they also give you a sample layout for how to use those in your crafting. So that is, it's simply called Birthday from Simple Stories. Really bright, fun colors uh, for a gray day like today. Now, I don't want to rush things. I don't want to rush things, but I am going to show this to you because it does actually have longer legs than what the title says. So another simple set from Simple Stories, this one called Happy New Year. However, as I said, it can really stretch. And a lot of those colors are going to coordinate nicely um, with this birthday set as well. So you could absolutely use this maybe for a milestone birthday. This one's got little confetti and streamers. So maybe it's a sweet 16 birthday. It's got polka dots. It's got that 
uh, star paper again, but this time in teal, and another great stripe. So as much as they are saying that this is um, Happy New Year, it is not dated. So if you're going back and you are doing maybe New Year's from five years ago, maybe you're doing year a Y2K. Who knows what you are still scrapbooking? This is not dated, so you can use that for any year or use it going forward. And like I said, really great options for um, other celebrations as well. There is the sticker sheet. So really, they've done a really nice job of keeping this really well balanced that you can use this uh, for a variety of different reasons. And then the page pieces again with the numbers, the countdown, celebrate, happy new year, ringing it in, in is this little call out here. Lots of fun. And those, like I said, those colors really seem to coordinate nicely. So if you really want to take these two mini sets and combine them together into a, a larger uh, theme, you absolutely can do so. Now, what I'm going to show you guys, and actually, I'm going to pause. Any questions, Matt, before I go on? No. Everybody's joining in. Everybody's saying hello. Yeah. Excellent. So I'm going to share with you something that we have not shown on a video before. And if you remember what I just said a few minutes ago about eating cake, believe it or not, this scrapbooking store is also all about cake. So let me, I'm going to bring this little basket closer to me and let me introduce you to Instacake. We met Brianna and at the gift show in uh, Toronto in the summertime and absolutely uh, fell in love with this product. It is lots of fun. It is very surprising, but this is something that you are going to want to watch and take, take note of because they would make great birthday gifts. They would make great stocking stuffers. And you know what? Sometimes somebody just needs a little pick me up. And so um, this little pack just does a great job of doing that. And so you're saying, okay, Instacake, cake, what is it? Um, basically think about mug cake, but it comes in this handy dandy little pouch. There is another option that I'm gonna share with you in just a minute, but everything that you need to make a little teeny tiny cup o cake um, is all in this pouch. Uh, we have, this one is the, whoops, the holiday version. So this is the candy cane cake kit. We have vanilla confetti. We have a lemon. Uh, it's called zesty lemon, actually. And we have double chocolate. Uh, I haven't tried double chocolate yet, so I'm looking forward to trying that um, very, very soon. In addition to those pouch versions, we do also have these cake in a card kits. So everything you need, and I don't want to break the seal, but you pull this out and everything you need, everything that comes in this pouch also comes in this little box. And we got the customizable ones. So what you can do is you can either add a four by six photo, you can get out your card making supplies and decorate this. I would decorate both front and back because you can see uh, through both sides. And then you just slide it back in close up the little flap and it comes with an envelope. Now this envelope pops up to hold this perfectly. Um, very snug. Very, very snug. Let me see if I can, this just little pops up here. This pops out here. If you just slide the envelope, or if you just slide the box in the envelope. I'm not saying it's easiest if I just slide the box in and it'll pop right up. And the genius part about this is the lovely lady. So Brianna was not the lady who invented this. She, she works with that lady and I, I'm drawing an absolute blank on her name, um, but she did absolutely all of her due diligence. So this completely meets Canada Post standards, both in terms of weight and thickness. You know, when you go to Canada Post and they put it through that slot to see if it'll fit, it will fit. And Matt has already done a prototype test on this. So we do know it'll fit. I want to say, Matt, it's about $2. Yeah, 
for postage or do you remember? I, I okay. didn't ask that part. Uh, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a parcel. It is not a parcel in this size. So this is a really, like I said, a really great way to um, send someone a birthday message with a little cake already in there. Now, the extra fun bit about this story is that um, the lady from Instacake was on Dragon's Den. Uh, I believe it was early in or maybe middle of October. Uh, we can find that episode for you. But not only was she on Dragon's Den, but she got a deal with two dragons. Uh, and so it's a really fun success story. All right. You want to see me make cake? Because I want to make some cake. But before I do that, I need to take a sip of water. So right here, right on this line, we are going to make cake. Um, uh, here, here's some. Cheryl said, cute idea for mailing students at university. Uh, uh, right after this is a great idea for mailing to students at university, 100%. We have sent a cake to our eldest in Halifax as well. Still waiting to hear um, his reaction, but you know what? We sent it, and it's going to be lots of fun. Uh, let me show you what's in this kit, because you know what? I haven't tried chocolate yet, so I did make sure that I have accounted for this for myself. But inside the pouch, which is the same thing in the box, you get all these little bits. So you get your cake mix. You get your frosting pack. And then in this little packet, lots of little packets to keep everything safe, we have... Sprinkles, because you know, you can't have cake without sprinkles. There is this little cup here, which actually is what will hold the cake like this. So there's your little baking cup, mixing cup, eating cup. There is a stirring spoon, a mixing spoon, as well as a wooden eating spoon. This little guy here, you, you fold this in, flip it like this, and that is your measuring spoon. All you need to do is add water. And then last but not least, there is a cute little cake topper. Or if you happen to have watched my live last night and you make your own little cake topper, you could do that too. And of course, a candle. So all these things come right in the kit in this fun little pouch or the fun little card. And then it is just so incredibly easy to make. I'm going to save that for later. Oh, I thought we were making a cake. We are going to make a cake. I'm just not making the chocolate one. I'm hungry. Matt's hungry. Well, don't worry, Matt. We will take care of you. So, all right. So here I'm going to open my box again. This time I'm making zesty lemon, mm. which was a it, the, lemon was the flavor that we tasted um, at the gift show and was definitely what sold us that and Dragon's Den and Brianna was awesome uh, to chat with. She had her mom there making in a Barbie pink uh, microwave. We actually don't want people to buy these. We don't want people to buy these? No, because if they buy them, then we can't eat them. Oh, Matt saying we don't want you to buy them so we that way we can't eat them. But I kind of want you to buy them because I don't think my waistline could take all the cakes that we have. All right, so I'm going to open this up. This is my zesty lemon. I'm gonna pour this into the little cup. No extra bowls, no dishes to clean. And there is your, oops, now I'm just. Stop making a mess. So this is our lemon and it's got the little uh, lemon sprinkles in there. Frosting I'm gonna need later. And this time, so with our little sampler packs, they did not give us the mixing spoons. They only gave us the wooden spoons, but that's okay. I've got my water here. Are there any questions as we go along, Matt? Or? Nope. All right. Oh, we're waiting to see. We're waiting to try. Everybody out. is waiting with bated breath. So you've got your cake in the cup. You need four of these little scoops of water. I'm going to try and do this carefully because, of course, on live TV is when it's all going to spill everywhere. So there's one. One. Matt's counting. Make sure I know how to count. Two. Two. A little bit more. Three. Three. And 
Uh, I'm not going to push my luck. Four. Four. Okay, so this is going to come off to the side so I don't spill. I did get a little bit of water here on my mat. And then you're going to stir. So you're just going to stir. You're going to stir. Make sure you get into the corners. Make sure you stir that all up. Make sure there's no powder. That's really all you're looking for, making sure all that powder is mixed in. And then you can scrape off the excess. If you're using the mixing spoon that comes in the kit, then you don't need to worry about that. But So there we go. Then what you're going to do is you are going to put this in the microwave. I'm just trying to think of somewhere to put this spoon here. You're going to put it in the microwave for one minute. One minute. That's it. One minute on high. Put it in. Push the button. And presto change a here is your finished cake. Magic of television. So it's a nice, light, fluffy cake. It does come up about halfway. And you, once it's cooked, you want to leave it for about five minutes just to cool afterwards. And it's going to get this nice, light, oh, fluffy cake. But, yeah, I need to put the frosting on. So I did switch. I mixed up the lemon. I pre-cooked the vanilla confetti, so I have my vanilla icing. You're just going to give it a little smoosh just to make sure it's nice and soft. I'm going to just cut off the end here. Oop. Sound effects are extra. And then you just squeeze it out. And you don't need to use the whole icing pack. I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you don't want something too, too sweet, and of course I'm... Charlie would just open up... Charlie would pieces. probably just eat the frosting. He'd eat them separately. There we go. So there's the frosting. I'm going to use my little spoon to spread it out. And because I stirred, I chopped it up a bit. That's why it's a little crummy. But then you take your sprinkle pack. Doo -doo -doo. And decorate to your heart's content. There you go. You add in your little topper. I could steal that one out of the chocolate one. Here's your little topper. There is a candle. There's your little candle. And presto, it is celebration time. So there you have it. Instacake. Easy to mail. Easy to put in a stocking. Easy to give to someone as a little pick-me-up. And as Matt and I both can attest to, as well as the team at the store, it's also very easy to eat and enjoy. Yep. So I'm going to pass this over to Matt. He's going to gobble that down. I'll pick up the lemon after the live. And maybe the chocolate too. Who knows? So that is that is Instacake. Now the um, lemon confetti, vanilla confetti, and chocolate are all the same. Um, the snowman one, the, the candy cane one, comes with a little snowman topper, but all the ingredients are inside, and it really just is so much fun. So I'm sure you have not seen any other scrapbooking store that you follow show you cake on their live, make cake on their live, and trust me, you will not regret uh, getting an Insta cake for someone you love, oops, except when you spell the, the sprinkles all over your desk. Um, and make sure you get one for yourself because cake is definitely more delicious when shared. Okay. All right, let's get these. So Matt's saying he's not sharing. That's why you have to get one of your own so they can have one and you can have one. All right, so that is cake. What should I do next? Don't care. Matt doesn't care. All right, I'm going to go on to some, uh, pardon me, goodies from Concord and Ninth as well as from Spellbinders. So good news. Good news on the Spellbinders front. Two favorites uh, that we have been out of stock on in a little while are now back in stock. The white glitter foam. And we didn't bring home a package, so I just dug it out of my stash. 
uh, white glitter foam, uh, solid packs, as well as I think a couple of other colors are now back in stock. This is a nice craft foam with that white no shed sparkle on it, no transfer, and it die cuts like butter. So if you want to cut out snowdrifts, snowmen, uh, sparkly words, uh, this uh, glitter foam is absolutely amazing. And the ever popular brushed gold cardstock in 10 packs, also back in stock. What else have we got from Spellbinders? Also back in stock, and I know many of you have been waiting for this, the gold circle cord. So if you go onto the website and you search cord, you will find this gold back in stock. I believe we do have a few rolls of the rose gold um, also still in stock. I did check. They don't carry silver. It's only the two colors. So that's what we have in the store. Um, speaking of sparkle, this was a Darlene request. And as soon as you see it, you will understand why. Metallic embroidery floss. So this is a 100% uh, polyester metallic um i don't want to call it's not the same as the dmc it does have um, a really nice tight weave to it so for all of your stitching needs uh in gold and in silver uh nice long rolls lots of great uh, uh thread to stitch with and even though it's so you can separate it but i think it will also stay together pretty nicely without being too thick for a lot of your different um stitching patterns so that is from spellbinders and let me get into this little bin here just a couple more things some basic staples they went back to the vaults like some companies are doing here is a deckled rectangle nesting set so it's got little it looks like little torn edges it's quite small um the largest one, I'm sure it says somewhere, but I'm just going to measure it, get my ruler the right way. It is about three inches by four inches and then sizing down from there. And then we also got this really cute little nesting tag set. So again, not super big, uh, two and a quarter by three and a quarter, give or take, but it's got the nice little dotted edges to it to give that nice finished look. So some great staples. These would make great stocking stuffers. And then last but not least, for our better press fans, we have uh, replacement shims. A few people have been asking whether they've lost theirs or you just want something that is consistent so that you can add a few extra shims. This comes with three shims in the pack. Always great just to have extras on hand. And then we also brought in some of the replacement platens. This is the top piece that squishes down, holds your paper and squishes it down onto the plate to create that letterpress look. Sometimes when you are mass producing, you want to have a couple of these already locked and loaded. So by having an extra one, it's really just handy to do a couple of cards at once. Again, also not that they should break this early in the game, but sometimes it's nice to have an extra just in case of emergencies. So that is new in from Spellbinders. I keep finding sprinkles all over here. I wonder what we were doing. Okay, next up, this is a, this is a single one. Uh, we were looking around on one of our supplier sites and we thought this one would be really handy in the vein of stitching. This is from Woodware and it is called Doodle Stitches. So if you like doing um, a faux stitched edge, whether it's on your art journal or if it's um, on your layouts or cards, you've got lots of great little options there. And while we're talking stitching, we're actually going to move ever so slightly to the left into knitting. So part of um, Concord and Knight's latest release involves knitting. Oh, and I think that's, Matt, if you can dig in my bag right there by the leg, should be a zipper bag with Darlene's uh, samples. So Darlene made us some beautiful samples with some of this stuff. There we go. Um, and I've got some pictures as well. So while he's digging that out for me, here is, this one is called Knitting Together. And I bet you're looking at this and saying, what the heck does that make? 
Well, this is what it makes. It makes big fat balls of yarn. It makes little uh, round balls of yarn. It's got lots of great little extras to it. And I printed out some samples, not really realizing that they were pretty much <laughs> the same as what's on the back. But there's a great little card there with the big ball of yarn and the knitting needles. Here's a great little tower with the smaller balls. If you are a knitter or if you know someone who loves knitting, these would be great uh, dies for those people. Moving along, we have Knit with Care, which is a nice just little knitted pattern in both. A, there's a heart and then this is just more of a chevron look and the sentiment says take care. So just like that. Oh, I guess this little guy is for you to make the stripes. So if you just wanted those stripes to overlay for a two-tone look. And then we move over here into sweater season. How sweet are they? And I do have some samples of these that Darlene made. She made a whole clothesline for a uh, tiny mat as well. And so there's three little sweaters, lots of great little elements to decorate with. Uh, these are little toques. And then we've got a set here. So stay cozy with some great little sweater patterns and the coordinating stencil set. So this has a large stencil to do the background and then the smaller ones to do the stay cozy and two coordinating. Uh, actually, this one goes with the knitting balls. The knit happens. Uh, it's your birthday. Have a ball. And then sweater season again has those little patterns. Warm wishes this holiday season. Tis the season to be freezing. And I know that's what many of our customers said today uh, as they came into the store because it was pretty darn cold. So a huge thank you to Darlene for whipping up these samples lightning fast. Here is the Stay Cozy. So with this one, she simply used the stencil and did the patterns at the top and the bottom with the Stay Cozy in the middle. Then she took it to the next level and just put a solid piece of cardstock behind the die cut patterns and stay cozy words. Last but not least, she went even further and put strips of color in behind with the stay cozy words. So you can really get a beautiful two tone look. And she then just layered it onto the card bases. I'm just checking the notes that are on the back there. Here is that stay cozy pattern again but with that teeny tiny sweater and yes there really are these little teeny weeny little Christmas trees that you can use to decorate the sweater the cute little toque here is using the stamp on top of the sweaters and again you're gonna have to come in the store and see them up close because the the camera just does not do it justice we've got this one here with some great little sweaters, the little stripes, the Christmas tree. She's layered that pattern in the back and can't go wrong with six sweaters. Keep it cozy. So a big thank you to Darlene for these beautiful samples. And you know, if you need something to feel warm and cozy or send warm and cozy hugs to someone you love, these uh, sweater dies and stamps are absolutely it. All right, that's gonna go over here. So these ones I showed, we are still going. There's no whoosh about it. There's still more. There is still more. Still from Concord and Knife, we have a basket weave cover plate die. No picture. No picture, just a really great pattern, super fun. And then we're gonna move into when you're cold, when it's freezing, you need something warm to drink. So this is called the Cup of Kindness set. We have a stamp set with some really great um, patterns and coffee cup and great little sentiments. And then there is a coordinating die set for that as well. Just some fun little versions. And here is one of the Concord and Ninth um, sample images that they sent. So again, there are there's little ones. There's little cups, there's big cups, there's all kinds of different lids, sleeves, and all kinds of extra little goodies to put with it. And again, everything coordinates beautifully, as Concord and Knife always does. 
but you can do one or the other, or if you really love it, you can absolutely do both. And then I have one last item from Concord and Knight. And I will tell you that this one is a bigger set and it may not be for everyone, but I thought it was super fun. And so, you know, even if I just do it to make me happy, sometimes that is my prerogative as the boss. This is called Picture Perfect. There is this lovely large uh, die set. There is also a coordinating stamp set. And you look at this and I guarantee you're going to say to me, what the heck? Mm -hmm. So let me share with you the photo. And I think it'll all become clear. This die set over here will make this super cute little Polaroid camera box that you can put cards in. You can put a gift card in. Um, it's got some little Polaroid elements that go with it. So this is the Polaroid here. You've got feet. You've got shoes. You've got different backgrounds. So maybe you want to do the, I'm looking at the fall leaves and here are my feet. Or here is the scenery picture. And there's so many different options. And I just thought that this little box was super cute. I do believe that Megan Andrew did a video for SCT that um, features this little box as well. So we'll make sure that we find that and link that for you. But we really thought this was sweet, especially if you like making three-dimensional projects. So that is it from Concord and Ninth. And since we are talking about SCT, why don't we do a little announcement for what's coming up this weekend? And that is the first slide on the left there, Matt. Oh, yep. So we've got two things starting this Saturday. Or sorry, Friday. Friday, this Friday. Not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. So first and foremost, we have the last issue of Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine for 2023. It is the December kickoff. It is the winter issue. Now, if you make a purchase, on Friday or later. Purchases from Thursday do not count. Your qualifying purchase must be on Friday or later, $30 or more, and you will get a free magazine. Now, if you are an online customer, please note that we do not automatically put it in your order. If you would like a copy, please simply drop um, a message in your order notes, and we will absolutely include it with happiness but you do need to request it. If you are shopping in store, we will ask you and we will have that conversation and be happy to get you hooked up with this beautiful, beautiful image, or sorry, issue, not image. It is a beautiful image, but I meant a beautiful issue. Breathe. All right, and then the second thing, the second thing that is starting on Friday, because we had so much fun giving you deals last week, we have a whole new deal for you for December and actually just the first half of December. If you shop with us either in store or online between December 1st and December 16th inclusive, so until the end of day on the 16th, you have the opportunity to earn some bonus bucks. Over that time, whether it's one purchase or multiple purchases, if you spend $50 or more, you will get a $5 bonus buck voucher to use in January. If you spend $100 or more uh, in that period, you will get $10 to spend in January. And don't worry, you don't have to keep track of the math. We're gonna look at it on the back end and we are going to send out your coupons. So we will, take, we will keep track of everything for you. Now, there is a third bonus. The third bonus is if you spent $150 or more during that period, again, one purchase, two purchases, five purchases, not only will you get that $10 uh, bonus buck coupon for January, you will get an additional $10 bonus buck coupon for February. So lots of great ways to save. Febu January and February tend to be a little grayer, a little snowier, and we know that you are going to want to do some craft therapy retail shopping and we are happy to give you a little bit of a bonus to make that happen 
So please keep that in mind. We will put all this information in our newsletter as well. Uh, the, the things that will be excluded from an earning standpoint is gift certificates and classes. Otherwise, I think pretty much everything else is fair game. So those are our announcements for tonight. And now I'm on to my last round of goodies to share with you on this last uh, What's New Wednesday of November. Next slide, then. Um, I'm going to show it first, and then we'll go into the slide. So back to me. Back to you. Back to me. You're just a green screen. I'm just a green screen. That's green. okay. It's not gray. It's green. Um, you guys may have remembered. We had a very special guest who came on What's New uh, one, two, three, four short weeks ago and introduced her brand new toolboxes, and that was totally Tiffany. Uh, so we are now, I mean, you guys love them right out the gate. We sold through many of our bundles, many of our sizes, and we have now restocked. So we will be extending the starter bundle deal. Yeah, I will show the uh, flip it this way. This is the nine by four um, toolbox. There are three sizes. Uh, in case you missed it, there is a five by seven, a nine by four, and a nine by six. And um, you can either get the toolboxes individually, or we do have starter bundles that Matt will share with us in just a minute. But let me go through this first. In a starter bundle, you get the toolbox of your choosing, as well as three divider packs. So each divider pack has five dividers for that size. They are little pouches that you can put your scraps in have little tabs that you can help organize your goodies. And uh, it's a great, great way to just get you started. Now these are a little bit heavier duty than a buddy bag. They've got this nice heavy duty zipper. And I'm gonna see if I can get this out or maybe just show it off. There is a lot more to the plastic insert that goes inside, making them stronger and more durable um, than any of the other bags. So they are definitely toolboxes. They are meant to hold your punches, your tools, your glue guns, all of that good stuff. I'm not get, having any luck getting that in there while I, we're on camera, but that was the nine by four size. Great for Elizabeth Craft dies, any slimline dies. This one here is the nine by six. So this is the biggest one. And I actually have a couple in play here. I have a nine by six one here that has all of my mandala and drawing supplies in it. So that way when I want to go to my girlfriend's cottage and just do some quiet drawing or keep all my tools together, um, this fits nicely in the nine by six. And again, super duper sturdy. So I've got a ton of stuff in here and it is super duper strong. The other thing that I noticed and this has been a long time search for me, is that the nine by six also holds my embossing folders. So all of my six by eight spell binders, embossing folders, I finally have a home for it. And if you have smaller embossing folders too, they will nest right inside. So my plan is to get the dividers. I'll do an, uh, some dividers for spell binders, some dividers for my other sizes, and that way all of my embossing folders are together. And that's one of Tiffany's big, big tips is that you want to keep together the things you use together. So if I can have one whole container that is for my embossing folders, I am a happy crafter. And then last but not least, there is the five by seven, which I think I did share with you guys last week because it's holding my little Gemini mini. So this is a great little compact size. This is the smallest of the three and uh, just will hold a whole lot and not take up a whole lot of space. So if you don't remember, we do have some starter bundle deals and I'll get Matt to just put up that slide. Please and thank you. He's too busy eating his cake. Oh, I'm answering questions. Oh, he's answering questions. Excellent. Um, so toolboxes plus three packs of tab dividers for the five by seven size is $35 for the nine by four size is $42. And that big mama nine by six size is $44.
And again, you can get the, you can get the toolboxes by themselves, or you can get this great starter bundle with the tab dividers as well. So that is that is it for the toolboxes. But you know what? When we introduced the toolboxes, we had one other thing that Tiffany shared with us. And I think I'm going to have to raise up my camera just a little bit. So please close your eyes if you don't want to see the jiggle. Oh, okay. I guess I dropped the slide up. So. Okay. So if you want to put my camera back on. Your turn. There we go. Um, Tiffany talked about the Cindy tote. And again, I don't think I'm going to be able to get my camera up big enough. Um, this is, yeah. Okay, sorry guys, I'm going to come up a little bit higher. Why don't we just take it off the thing? And... So this is the Cindy tote. It is just like the lowest tote. It is a handy dandy workhorse. But the main benefit to Cindy is that she has a zip over lid. So this can zip together and keep everything protected inside. It does have an extra little shoulder cushion as well. But some of the people have been asking, well, what can you put in it? Pretty much anything. So I have my 12 by 12 storage. I've got my ink storage. And that reminds me, I've got something in there to share with you. I've got my drawer units that fit in here. I've got my Stephanie bag that holds my ink. It's got also got my toolbox in here. And honestly, Cindy, this is Cindy here, this beautiful bag. Um, there's really nothing she can't hold. The only thing is going to be the weight. You want to make sure that you can actually carry it uh, without um, throwing out your shoulder. So if you are interested in a really sturdy workhorse that's got this fold over flap to keep everything dry and safe, then Cindy is the friend you are looking for. So that is that. And like I said, I remembered one last thing that I need to share with you. And I've already tucked them away here in my little eight drawer. But we have some new cubing. Before you go on to that. Yep. Someone is asking if we're going to be getting the Project Planner Memento Keeper. Do you know what that is? The Project Planner Memento Keeper. I'm not sure that I am familiar with that one, Donna. Um, we will look into it. And we will see what we can find out about that one. That is not one that I have heard of. Um, but Tiffany's got a lot of products. So it could just be that we miss it. So we will definitely make a note on that and get back to you. Okay, one more quick Velcro pull. And let me pull out my two little drawers. So the last thing I get to share with you tonight is uh, we have brought in the VersaFine cubes. Now, many of you know that the VersaFine Onyx Black, and my camera's way up high now, um, the, the Onyx Black is one of our favorite stamping inks for sentiments. It is crisp, it is clean, and really does some great work um, stamping sentiments and things with detail. Well, we loved it so much that we decided to bring in the full range of uh, colors of VersaFine in the mini cubes. Now, I think when we ordered, there was one color that was out of stock, so we might be missing that one. But there is satin red, crimson red, habanero, which is kind of an orangey red, Olympia green, Majestic Blue, Imperial Purple, Vintage Sepia, and Smoky Gray. Now, these are a pigment ink, and even though it says it is fast drying, they are a pigment ink. And we have, both Darlene and I have, um, in the past, used this VersaFine with clear embossing powder. Um, you have to move quickly, but you can use it with embossing powder as well. And they are super handy little um, cubes to keep in your toolbox maybe a totally Tiffany toolbox, or just your card making kit. They work beautifully for sentiments, just really crisp and clean. And they are definitely our go to when it comes to stamping sentiments. So without further ado, I am going to wrap up for this evening. I have a cake to go and put in the microwave. And that is it for us. So happy November, everyone. We hope to see you on Friday and Saturday. Oh, because I don't think I mentioned that. Friday and Saturday being SCT Magazine, it is also um, tote bag day. So it's not, on the, it's not on the flyer. I forgot to put it on the flyer. 
Um, tote bag day, if you bring in your canvas reusable uh, PCW green re uh, tote bag, you will get 15% off your purchase Friday and Saturday only, as well as your free magazine with a purchase of $30 or more. So come and see us on the weekend. If you're shopping online, make sure you put in the notes that you would like a magazine. Start earning those bonus bucks for January and February. And grab yourself some cake because everybody deserves a little cake. Absolutely. And Matt says absolutely. Have a good night, everyone.